So I'm here today on Sanagi Island in the Seto Inland Sea of Japan. And uh, this island is mostly known for, well, let's be honest, it's, it's not really known. But to those who do know it, it is known for its furry residents, namely cats. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? What's going on? Hey, kitties, meow. 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 All right, see you guys later. <laughs> okay, buddy. All right, all right. But I'm here today to investigate uh, furry creatures of another sort. I'll show you what I mean. I'm here in search of a more sinister creature. I'm currently on the path leading up to the biggest shrine on the island, okay? This is a place where you're supposed to pray. It's one of the main things that brings tourists in here besides the cats, okay? But this sign is posted all the way up towards the shrine. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Wild boar are common in almost all areas of Japan. I think uh, the only places you can't find them are in the far north in Hokkaido and uh, way down south in Okinawa. Uh, but they are, uh, they're real wild boar, mind you. They're not just feral pigs like you find in a lot of places um, back in the States. But uh, they've become very aggressive uh, in, and they've honestly gotten pretty brazen with uh, how many there are. They're just like the sheer numbers of wild boar are staggering. Um, in the distant past, their population used to be controlled by, uh, by, by wolves. But of course, uh, about a hundred years ago or more, all the wolves were, uh, were killed off in Japan. So they are extinct. Now, the wild boar here have no natural predators. And until, you know, recent years, they were still kind of kept in check by hunters. But uh, these days, there are very, very few hunters actually still active in Japan. Uh, although hunting is legal in Japan, it's a very stringent process, really hard to get a license. And to have a gun, you have to undergo yearly checks and um, all sorts of uh, really strict measures to make sure that you're fit to carry one. So uh, that's become a big problem. And also the young people in Japan are not interested in hunting at all. So it's created a situation where these, <laughs> these, uh, these wild pigs just take over entire swathes of Japan. And they're just theirs for the taking at this point, which uh, as you can imagine, poses some problems. These signs are posted all the way up. We'll see if we, uh, if we run into any today. See if there's actually any truth to these signs. At least we'll get a good hike in, <laughs> if nothing else. Apparently, uh, originally there were no wild boar on this island, but, um, they were on nearby islands, or at least one nearby island. And when they ran out of food over there, they swam across the channel and uh, took over this island now too. So yeah, you can't stop them apparently. But uh, yeah, I mean, this, like I said, this is the main shrine here on this island. And when I saw that sign, I was, um, I was actually on my way to a nearby island uh, about a month ago. And I was on the ferry and I started seeing those signs all the way from the ferry port back on the mainland. They said, oh, the, uh, the shrine is closed off. You can't go there. It's taken over by a wild boar. And I was like, what the fuck? Are you serious? <laughs> these, these swine terrorists are now inhabiting our places of worship and preventing us from going to shrines. Like, this is the message we want to send to these bastards? I got a little bit incensed, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm still pretty pissed off about it because it's like, you, when does this end? 
Do the board just keep, pretty nice view. Do the board just keep multiplying unchecked forever until there's nowhere else to go in Japan? It's like, I mean, come on, the government at least has to come out and hunt these things off. And uh, the, as far as I know, the only measures that they have to uh, keep the population of wild boar in check are um, trapping programs. So people, whether it's the government or just old people out in the country trying to protect their land, they, uh, they set these big cage traps for the boar. And um, I mean, I'm sure they, they have limited success with those, but very clearly it's not nearly enough to, um, to stop them from reproducing wildly. Because I've been, I mean, I'll tell you, I have personal experience with these things. I've been on a lot of uh, jogs at night. I often go jogging at night after work. Yeah. You get around springtime, around this time of year, and they are everywhere in the mountains. Like, I don't think you have any idea, or even the locals have no idea just how prevalent they are up in the hills. I've run into basically herds of these things. I mean, they're infesting uh, certain areas and uh, they're terrifying. <laughs> they're loud, they, they squeal, they, they snort. And uh, I found myself in at least a couple of uh, pretty dicey predicaments with these things where I was just like, oh my God, am I gonna make it home tonight? <laughs> and uh, you see on the news too, they hype it up a lot, um, but you see on the news, uh, reports of attacks pretty frequently as well. People just getting raked by these things and rammed. Now, mind you, they're not generally gargantuan, like some of the boar you see, like a hogzilla or something uh, back in the States, but they get pretty intimidatingly big. I've seen some pretty huge ones uh, myself. But even so, it's like the chances they're gonna kill you uh, not super high, but you can certainly get gored pretty badly, and uh, I can't imagine their tusks are very sanitary. Put on some sunscreen. I think it, uh, I think it has, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, okay, it has anti boar properties, so we should be good. I am invulnerable to the boar. I'm ready. Let's do this. Come out, you swine. Your brutal piggy regime has come to an end. Your regime of presumably tearing up the ground and eating bugs. Okay. Not gonna lie, a little unnerved. I heard, uh, I heard the particular boar in this shrine are uh, pretty aggressive and territorial. Look at that, two samurai grappling. That's badass. Oh yeah. And the Oni face. Boar, I signal to you my arrival. I am come. Face me. I mean, you can tell this place has not been tended for a while. It's all run down. The villagers have just fled in terror. So far, no sign of any boar, though. Well, let's keep exploring. I got another hour before my ferry gets here. Heard something up there. I don't know if you heard that. Oh. Let's keep looking. 
oftentimes, as I mentioned, uh, they usually come out at night, this time of day. They're generally bedded down somewhere. And uh, if you want to run into them, <laughs> you don't usually want to, but if you do, uh, you kind of have to just stumble upon their bedding ground, which I've done a couple of times hiking, but it's pretty rare. No sign of any so far, but I bet if you came here at night, <laughs> it would be a completely different story. They're, I mean, they're nasty animals, man. Ooh. They, uh, when they start breeding too in the spring, the babies are adorable. I have to admit that. <laughs> they are really, really cute. Uh, but, yeah, uh, they like squeal with this just racket of a of a sound when uh, when they're little, and then the uh, the mamas get real aggressive and they're like <laughs> you hear this like growling and rumbling and and then they uh, they are not light-footed animals, so it's there's just this this cacophony whenever they're moving in numbers. I mean, even one, it's like the ground almost shakes. So, you know when they're around, that's for sure. Yeah, no one's been on this trail in some time. That scared the shit out of me. It was a bird though. Okay, well, here's very, very clear signs of boars. You see all this? The dug up ground. They just make a fucking mess of things. This was a bedding ground, I guarantee you. Some areas right there, right there, right there, right there. And look what they did. They got down on some of these oranges. They're probably disgustingly acidic. Oh yeah, you can feel it. I don't know why, but these like wild island lemons slash oranges, they are disgusting. Took a bite of one once and it just like, it was like, and then just stripped <laughs> like all the enamel and saliva out of my mouth. The acid just cut straight to like the core of my teeth. And it was like that whole like, you know, greedy, weird, like feeling. It was awful. One of those like cartoon sour faces like <laughs> Some might call what I'm doing ill-advised But in my experience Well, first of all, I'm gonna say don't don't do this at home, but in my experience They uh, They tend to want to run away from you, like most wild animals. That's their first instinct when they even hear you from a distance. Oh, look, more sign. This looks fresher too. It just rained actually yesterday. And you can see they kicked up fresh dirt. So that's within the last, I'd say 12 hours maybe. Okay. So there's all these soft grasses here. This would be where any self-respecting boar would be uh, lying down for for the day. So I'm gonna approach very cautiously up here. Maybe we'll get a glimpse of one. Oh yeah, there's more, there's more sign below me. Hmm. 
this whole place is just a pig wasteland. Look at these big craters, pits. These things have just been mulching up the ground, looking for bugs and even bed. Look at this, they tear down the bamboo. Look at that, they almost dug up this entire plant. I don't see. How much longer they can elude me. So it kind of confirms what I was saying, like they're generally you can't call them shy really, but they're still cautious. I mean, if I'm being honest, if I saw me walking through the forest, I wouldn't uh I wouldn't come out and show my face either. I'd be hiding in the bushes, so, you know. Maybe someone a little less ripped should have came out here. Basically, you should never try to seek them out like I'm doing, because you never know. You could accidentally round a corner and they feel threatened and then next thing you know, you got a, uh, a couple tusk-sized holes in your leg. Well, I've reached the top, and by the looks of it, there was definitely some old structure up here, which is cool. You can see these uh, different mounds circling some kind of central room here, which is cool. At least there's that. Well, I guess that's mission complete then. I eradicated all the boars on this island by my mere presence. So, uh, yeah, take that, boars. But uh, I gotta head back and I gotta hightail it too if I'm gonna catch my, uh, catch my ferry, so. I made it back to the, to the uh, ferry, but just barely. I really hauled ass. <laughs> well, this time, lots of signs of boar, but no actual boar themselves. But, uh, mark my words, I'll be back and I'll get some more shots. Maybe at night, we'll see. But anyways, it was a nice little hike. Got to explore the island. Got to see uh, the Forbidden Temple. Didn't get mauled by a boar. I'll call it a success.